Hi, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM ARL test engineer here at the ARL laboratory. I got to operate the Flex Radio 6300 during a contest. It was a lot of fun, but now I get to show it to you here. All right, here it is, the Flex Radio 6300. This is the front panel, not much to see here. This is the power button, on off, but this LED is multicolor. It lights up during different conditions. If you're updating the software, it'll be a different color. It'll flash red if I key the microphone. That tells me I'm transmitting. And a whole variety of different uh, functions uh, can be seen just with this LED. It tells you what's going on with radio. The microphone connection, here's the mic that comes with it. The FHM1 with the up-down buttons and fast tuning. Lightweight, but good audio quality out of the microphone. Headphone jack reconductor quarter inch and of course your key jack. Let's take a look at the back side. Well not too much to see back here. The connections are rather simple. Antenna jacks, ground connection, DC Anderson power pole connection, some remote connections, accessory. This is where you plug your speakers into. Uh, a transverter jack. Push to talk in ALC for your amplifier and of course the Ethernet connection for your PC that runs the flex radio. Now, let's turn it on and take a look. Well, your flex radio experience begins with Smart SDR. Up here, yeah, I already opened it up. Let's open it up and there's the flex radio 6300. Right now we're looking at just one receiver and we happen to be looking at a portion of the 40 meter phone band. Now to get a signal, we'll turn up the volume here yeah, and then we'll just click over here on this signal and tune up the volume. Sounds good. I can widen out the filter or narrow it down. Typical with just about any flex radio. I'll turn that down. And you want to change frequency? Just drag it across the screen like that and look at all the signals on 40 meters band is good today click over here and we got another signal here's of course the waterfall down here we can minimize that by bringing the dragging the bar down like that or we can add another receiver right down here let's click on the new pan adapter and here's the second receiver and I can monitor any other band that I wish. Well, here's 40 meters again down here, but I could also monitor at the very same time 20 meters. And I can shrink that back. And turn this off. I don't need it, need to hear it right now, but I can look at two different bands at once. Over here in this panel's over here. This uh, turns on and off the receiver or adds another one. The uh, tracking a notch filter. You have a heterodyne. Click on the heterodyne and as you tune around the band it'll always remember to take that heterodyne out. Change the bands here. Yeah. Change the antenna. Adjust the display. And of course your digital audio communications over here. So that's the receive side. Let's go over to the upper right side of the screen here and we're looking at the transmit panel and we have a RF power output meter up here, an SWR meter. If I'm in the CW mode and hit my key, uh, there we go. It shows that the SWR is not that bad today. 1.2 to 1. That's amazing with all the ice on the roof. Uh, and RF power output adjustment is here. Your receive adjustment panel is here. Adjust your filter widths, your tuning steps, volume, AGC, etc. Noise blanker, noise reduction. And if I want to look at other instrumentation here, oh, look, here's the CW speed and the delay, side tone. If I want to operate a, a keyer, I can click on that and uh, or the straight key. And one more thing to look at, and if I take one away, I can get that one down here. I can adjust the AM carrier, your Vox, and the delay here using these buttons. Or I could remove them just like that. So it's a fairly intuitive radio to operate. There's a lot fewer things to adjust than some of the older flex radios. And it's a pleasure to listen to and with uh, also good reports of good transmitted audio quality. 
When I first used a flex radio, it took me a little bit of time to get used to using a keyboard and a mouse to control the radio. But I tell you what, I got used to it, and now I enjoy it very, very much. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARO Laboratory.